Beretta announced an update to the Silver Pigeon a couple of days ago, and we have got one in this box. Let's have a look. So there's quite a few interesting updates they put on this gun. Uh, first of which, and I know this really doesn't make a lot of difference, is the accessories box. Uh, it now has one, and it's a nice one. It's quite exciting. So instead of all of this beautiful molded case being filled, uh, it's all in a little box. It doesn't come in pajamas, obviously. It just comes in plastic. So here it is, the new Silver Pigeon. Come in close and have a look. So from the back, not a lot has changed. We've got the interchangeable Beretta pad, that's standard, and we have the standard field stock. They've only as of yet released the field version, and the sporting versions are said to come later on. I've heard a couple of bits about the sporting version, which we will talk about. However, the major updates so far that we can see are here on the field gun. Starting with the action. The action is the first part of major change. As you can see, it's a completely new engraving pattern. They say it's an updated pattern of engraving and a new style. It certainly is different. So what you have is you have sort of more acanthus wide scroll than that sort of tight scroll they had before with these really deeply etched Beretta tridents on the side. I really like the tridents. That's certainly a, a good feature from my perspective. Little bunches of grapes. All in all, it's a nice design. The execution certainly is different. Certainly it's more modern, and that I will give them. Certainly it is more modern. I'm gonna put my hat in the ring and say, I do not prefer it to the old style. To me, it looks cheaper. Yes, it looks much more luxurious, but where it is less deep, it's certainly a little bit shallower, the engraving style is not for me. The pattern is nice, it certainly looks good, but. I can see this as more of a, yes, it's an update, and yes, that you're getting more engraving, but you're also getting less, less engraving. So that, that, that for me, that's just, just my opinion on it anyway, is I do not think the engraving quality is as good as much as the pattern. Certainly is nicer, as you can see, certainly much nicer. So uh, clocked as well versus the older Silver Pigeon, or the old Silver Pigeon is now the old Silver Pigeon. It's depressing, isn't it? Uh, the actual metal finish is a much less refined polish. They've left it in a much deeper brush. Whether that's intentional or not, I do not know. However, it's much more obvious that they left it at a higher grade of grit, or a lower grit grade, sorry, uh, rather than taking it to the high polish and nickel coating it like they used to. They've just nickel coated it over a, a different grit spec. Again. Mere observations. Actually, you know what, I don't hate it. It's got that same brush finish like the Onyx had, almost. And that, well, it works, actually. It does work. The forend, the next major update is the forend. As you can see, you have now a rounded forend. That is delicious. Uh, if I was a Silver Pigeon owner, I would be buying one of these bits of wood to stick on my Silver Pigeon. Uh, I have done countless schnabel removals over the years, so the ability to not have to do that, well, a, it's more elegant, certainly looks a lot nicer, and B, well, saves me a bit of work, doesn't it? Wood to metal fit is fairly standard for a Silver Pigeon, AKA could do with improvement, certainly around the forend area there, remove that down a little bit. Around the, the head of the stock, actually, it's, it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. But as with always on brasses, the forend wood is oversized, but it keeps it strong. The third major update is this. The barrels, they are now Optima HP barrels, fully steel shot proof, blah, 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 blah. But the fact that you have the Optima HPs now in the field as opposed to the Sporter only, that's nice. 
not significantly better patterns, not significantly more exciting. However, the barrel profile is a little bit more delicious. You've got a much smoother taper out towards the muzzle than perhaps you do on other models. How's it feel in the hand? Not bad. Uh, certainly a little bit front heavy for a field gun for my liking, but that always comes by proxy of having this light stock, and this is a 28 inch version. We're going to go about just shy of an inch in front of the hinge pin there. Not bad. The forend is the best thing they have done on this gun. Everything else is fairly standard Beretta, from the laser cup checkering to the wood to metal fit. But this rounded forend, it that it generally feels good. The whole profile of the forend just feels very nice. As much as it'd be nice to improve that wood to metal fit, I wouldn't do much to upset the radius of the forend. Actually, it's it's nice. It's a good full forend. What I would do, however, is chuck some balancing weights in the back and just bring the balance back a little bit more neutral. Um, just to make this gun more rounded. It's going to bring you up closer to the eight pound mark, but actually it would be a devastating gun once it was there. For me, the engraving is a bit of a no. I and mean, it's very modern, this style of engraving. And obviously that's more to do with modern techniques than modern fashion, because it's much more reasonably priced for a better looking Gun. I mean, I know they have it on the 691, there's the sports scroll, they have their similar sort of style. However, that just feels that little bit deeper, well, it's that, is that a bit deeper and that bit better executed. I've not got an issue per se with, with the depth of engraving, I'm not stupid, I know that hand cutting a gun takes a lot of money, but it would maybe be nice to see a little bit more time go into the shading as it is, it's very sort of two dimensional. It's not horrible. You know, you don't buy a Silver for Pigeon 1 for a beautiful gun, and certainly this looks a lot more gun for your money. For me, if I could have these barrels and this forend stuck on a standard old Beretta action, I probably would. But that's a beautiful personal preference, is we're all allowed our own opinions. I'd love to know what you think. It's certainly a step in a different direction, but for me, jury's still out except on that forehand. I would buy that forehand and stick it on every Beretta in the world, if possible. Guys, take care. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.